ABC News' Emanuela Saliba joins me now to discuss. Emanuela, and again, I just want to reiterate that that was an actress, the family's actors, that didn't really happen, but amazing to see what the technology is able to do. So we all want to protect our kids, but it also feels so good to share these great moments with them, right? So how do you go about doing this, and how has AI raised the risks involved in sharing about your kids on social? Diane, we've known the risks of oversharing on social media for years now. Um, you can be tracked by predators, your identity can be stolen, but now there's an increase with AI where they can rec replicate your child's likeness, they can replicate their voice, and they can steal their identity. So the important thing is to limit how much you share. For example, no personal information, no names, no birthdays, those kinds of things. The, the ad is fake. How real is the threat? Are we there now? We are there. I'm, I, we've done tons of reporting at ABC News on scammers using AI to replicate a child's voice to scam their mom. Right. You know, I actually told, I had to warn my family about <laughs> that. You know, create a safe word and let them know that this is happening. Exactly. Especially if there's a lot of information of you online. And t what's happening with oversharing your child's data is all of these moments that we think. And listen, I'm a mom. I want to share these moments too. You know, birthdays or first day of school. You're sharing data. Their, their voice, their, where they go to school, what their birthday is. And that accumulates over the years, and that gives criminals so much data to work with to then recreate a likeness that we see in this ad. This ad also touched on something horrific, the possibility of these images being used as child sexual abuse material. How does that work? So a, a majority of the images that are seen on sites for predators actually come from, were shared on social media by parents first. So now AI, is, you only need one picture of a child to digitally undress them. So experts are seeing that they're seeing an increase of AI-generated child sexual abuse, but there's hope. There's an organization called Thorn. They've been using technology for years to combat child sexual abuse online, mm -hmm. and they're using AI with machine learning to track down and report child sexual abuse material that they see. Wow. So what can parents and guardians do other than not post? Is that it? Or are there ways to post and still be more protective? So I've talked to many of them and experts say, unfortunately, there is no such thing as private. Even if you had a private account, someone could also take a screenshot. They could share it outside of the account. Mm -hmm. So I think the best way that they say to protect your child is to not take any photos of their faces. So if you want to share something, share a photo from, you know, them in their back. Don't share their names. Don't share their birthday. Anything that can be used to create a sort of digital file on yeah. them. And also you want to think down the line, is this going to be embarrassing for them? Because it's about their digital footprint over the course of years. Is this going to be embarrassing later? Is this going to prevent them to get a job? Am I sharing it for me or for them? Yeah. So those are sort of the questions that experts told me to, that we should ask ourselves. It's great advice, Emmanuel. Thank you. Thank you. Scary thought. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.